Hey, what's up everybody? It's the iPhone Movement, and this is a really quick video on how to downgrade from iOS 7 to iOS 6.1.3 or 1.4, depending on what device you're on. So the first thing you want, you're going to want to do is download your firmware 6.1.4 or 6.1.3, again, depending on the iPhone or iPod that you're on. Um, once you download that, the links will be in the description um, in a while, not, not very fast because I have to put them up on a site. But once you get your firmware, which is pretty easy, you can just Google it, um, you're going to want to put your iPhone into DFU mode. This is the easiest way. So DFU mode is basically holding the top button and the home button together. So for, that's for 10 seconds, and then after that, you let the lock screen button go out, and then you hold the home button until iTunes recognizes your device or your computer recognizes your device. doesn't really matter. So this is pretty simple. So you got, I'm going to hold the lock screen, lock button, and the home button together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of the lock screen button. Keep holding the home button. And my computer should recognize it. You see right there it says the following device driver software and iTunes popped up. Um your iPhone is detected in recovery mode, blah 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 blah. So once you click OK, you're gonna wanna hold shift. If you're on a Mac, you're going to want to hold Option, I believe. But yeah, the Shift button for the Mac. And you're going to hit Restore iPhone at the same time. Um, wherever you put your firmware, which mine is the iPhone 5, 6.1.4, 10B350. That's the Sprint version. Um, you want to click it. Click Open. Click Restore. And iTunes will do all the work. Once, you're, um, once it's restored, I'll be right back. So as you can see guys, the iPhone is now restoring fully. No problems went through. Everything went straight to it. It should be finished right now. So yeah, you guys are now on iOS 6.1.4 or 1.3 depending on your device. Um, you just go through a normal process and you go, you know what to do from there. Anyways guys, thanks for watching my video. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe if this was helpful. And see you on the next one.